Hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we are going to discuss how to format comparisons in scorecards in Looker Studio. So the comparison is this little indicator coming below the scorecard. For example, here is 11.2% up and we're going to find all about how to format it in many cool ways. Before we go straight to the point, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much in advance. It really helps a lot and let's get started. So we're going to click on the scorecard first. Job number one, we need to apply a comparison. So we are going to go on the setup column on the right hand side. We are going to scroll down and we're going to find this comparison date range here. Right. So here we have comparison date range. Right. So we are going to open it and there are several options. So the most useful option is comparison with a previous period. So comparison with previous period means that we are going to compare, for example, if we look at this month with the last month, it will look if we look at the first 10 days of this month with the first 10 days of the previous month and so forth. The other comparisons, for example, you can fix it comparing with a fixed date range, or you can select uh let's say the exact dates that you want if you click advance but we're going to select previous period so now we have an indicator that came under our scorecard our session scorecard what can we do with this indicator now couple of things so number one way that we can actually format it is under the other comparison options under the set setup column here we can compare this not with the sessions in the previous period, but with a value. So I can select value here and I can say, for example, I want to compare this with a number 50,000, for example. And now you will see here that the comparison shows that we are 33% lower than the value that we put here, which is 50,000. If we put here 30,000, now the comparison will tell us we are 10% higher than the value we put here. So this is useful if you have an objective. If let's say you need to hit an absolute number of sessions, sales, leads, revenue, you can actually compare with a specific value. You can also compare with a different metric. So let's say, for example, you have form submissions and you have WhatsApp clicks. So you can select the metric here and then you can select the metric that you want to compare this with, right? So, and then you're going to select, let's say, an event, key event, uh, users, or anything else, right? So, for example, let's say we can compare new users with active users or users with active users. So, the comparison indicator can be relevant to comparing with a metric. That's the starting point. Now, what else can we do? If we go now on style, so right hand side again, we click on style we can change the color of the comparison fields. So now here we, we have, let's say, a positive comparison, 16.3%, and it's green. But I can make it maybe blue, for example, if I want. So now you can see it became blue. Or I can make it, let's say, purple, right? So now it became purple. So I can change the comparison indicator color from green or red if it's, let's say, a a downwards indicator to any color that I like. Instead of showing percentage, I can actually show the absolute difference between, let's say, my comparison. So here the system says that if we compare, let's say, May, that I have in my dates here with the previous month, previous period, we are 16.3% up. If I want, I can actually come to style and under here comparison fields i can say so absolute change so now you will see here that we have 4637 more sessions so we don't have the comparison as a percentage we have the comparison as an absolute value and if i want i can also change the decimal precision so let's actually go back to percentage and let's say I want two decimals instead of one. So I can actually say here 
two decimals and then it became 16.26%. I can say three decimals and then it became 16.258 or zero decimals, for example. So 16% only. If I leave it on auto, then the system here is just going to add one decimal. And that's it. That's how easy it is to format comparisons within scorecards in Looker Studio. So one more time, things you need to know. First of all, you select the scorecard, comparison date range. You can customize the date range. You apply from there. What you can do is to go to uh, other comparison options on the right hand side. You can compare this note with, let's say, uh, the previous performance, but with a fixed value. You can compare this with a different metric. So that's a couple of things you can do here with other comparison options. And then under style, you can go in the comparison fields and you can change the color of the indicators. You can also change the decimal precisions. And you can also switch from a percentage to absolute number when it comes to scorecards here. That's it. If you found this useful and you applied some of these things, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.